Hey love bugs, this is Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you ain't already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, drop me a line. Just for me to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or it's just about to tell me how much of, of the experience it is to be a Heyoka or empath. Or just even drop me positive feedback about the content of my video. It'll greatly be appreciated. Or if you're not comfortable enough and you feel like you resonate with my video and you like to spread the word, give me a thumbs up, like it, even share. It'll be greatly appreciated too. And thank you so much for coming to my channel and blessing me with your presence. And thank you. And for my returning family subs also, much love. Thank you always. Thank you so much for so much support, dropping the lines to me, sending positive prayers, positive vibes, and positivity just towards my way. And even though I'm helping you, you're helping me also, so I'm greatly appreciated for that. So namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you too. And I hope you are having a blessed day. And thank you so much for coming by. And today I am listening to the meditation music. I'm just like blissful. And that's exactly what I'm listening to. This blissful, positive energy meditation music for healing music, relaxed mind, body Ricky music. So I'm going to let y'all hear that real quick. It is really beautiful. So, um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101 Hey Oka's uh, Bigger Purpose for Your Struggle. Bigger Purpose for Our Struggle. Oh my goodness. It's just like it's been a busy week, but me being a light worker, Indigo, Hey Oka, all those little wrapped up characteristics wrapped into one. You know, I've been really busy with working and getting business taken care of and helping out my extended family and friends. So it's just like, well, actually, they're both family anyway. So it's just like, you know, a sister or a brother from another mother, basically. And it's just, it feels so good when you can actually go out and help somebody. You know, and it's just like we go through so much in. It's just like when you see people and you can just say, hey, or it's just like with my friend, um, one of my close friends, I love her to death. You know, I didn't even know she was feeling bad. Well, actually, the energy came up and I just pictured her face and I was seeing this new um, trailer for this movie. It was called Upgrade and it was really, I mean, it really looked really good. And it's a new movie that's getting ready to come out. And it was this guy that was paralyzed or whatever, but I guess he was supposed to take vengeance or take care of whatever his wife got killed or whatever like that. But it was a really good movie, but, but he was paraplegic and they found some kind of thing to make him be able to uh, move again. So it was kind of like the Punisher and Equalizer all put up together. I'm like, yeah, I gotta see this. And they see, you know, I thought about her and she was just like, it was amazed to her that you know, she was feeling some type of way, and then I just came into her life and sprightened her up, and I was just like, sis, you know I do this all the time with you, but it was like, you know, when, you never know when somebody needs that thing, and it's just like, it could be the littlest thing, and you can just say God bless, or you can make somebody laugh, and it might not mean much to you, but you never know what it means to that next person, so there's always... A bigger purpose for your struggle there are always a big bigger purpose for your struggle and we have lost so many things we will be at the bottom of the barrel like you know what when is enough gonna be enough like I have lost this I have lost that I have lost this and still try to remain humble but just trust and know you're going through this for a reason and it's not to punish you and I know it might not seem like that no I know you're like Ross what the hell are you talking about I feel like I'm being punished it's not to punish you we go through situations and I, I mean I, I don't know the answer to all of them but it's just like when you can look at your situation 
and it's, it could be really negative and you try to pull at least one thing that's positive about this situation. One thing that's positive about the situation and I guarantee you that's one step of just knowing that you know you're going to overcome the situation. It really is. Because it's just so many times we have been placed in situations where we feel like we're going to pull our hair out. We're about to knock somebody's head off. About to cut somebody out. It could be at a dead-end job. It could be your family. It could be your spouses. It could be anybody. It could be a close friend that you're getting into it with and you're trying to figure out why is this thing happening to me? Why are friends leaving me left and right? Like I've said in many of my videos, when we start our journey and we're in the middle of our awakening, you will go do petty stuff. You will go do drama. You will start losing friends left and right. You will start looking at people and seeing their true faces for what they truly are. Trust me, things will happen on your awakening that way. So awake, that's exactly what awakening is. Smack up! <laughs> smack up it, it's just a smack up and it's just to rattle you up because there is a bigger purpose for what you're going through you have a story you need to tell like I'm on my journey this is my story I tell every day anytime I go through an experience or I feel like you know I, I said something that impacted somebody's life and I, I don't give out people's situation or whatever um, but it impacted my life in a good way when you know you, you're having tears come out your eyes, just knowing that you can just reach out to somebody and just bring a smile on their face. And it's just like when they're telling you, you just don't know what that did to me. And you really, I'm trying not to cry now. I'm sorry, y'all. But when you know you can do that to somebody, and I mean, it overwhelms me. When you know you can do that to somebody, it feels really good. It feels really good. It makes you feel better about yourself knowing, you know what, my, my pain had a purpose. My pain had a purpose. You know, anytime I see somebody going through something, it breaks my heart because I get frustrated because I, I'm trying to figure out their problems. No one, I got my own problems to figure out. But I know what it feels like when you just need somebody to listen to. Or you just need somebody to talk to. Or you just you need that friend. You know, I know what that feels like. And not that, you know, you don't want to burden somebody with your problems or you don't want to set this out for anything for people to look at you a certain way and be judged I understand that that's why it's just like when I tell people I'm here I don't judge you know well who am I I'm not God <laughs> you know I got my own dark stuff but I expose mine because it made a positive impact on my life all the negative things I've been through has made a positive impact on my life when I can look back, and I tried so hard not to cry, but when I look back and know how much this has made me into a better person, to know what I'm doing has made somebody else look at life differently, to know life is too short. Life is too short. We have been going through trials and tribulations all of our lives. All of our lives. We... You know, you can go through abuse, you know, abandonment, misuse, anything. And then if you know you can be grateful, at least one or two things or five things, that lets you know you're a humble person. You don't take life for granted, you know, because it's just like you don't know when your next day is going to be. You don't know if today is going to be your last day because there's so many people who are getting wiped out left and right. They didn't have that tomorrow to wish that they were here. And we are. And it's just sometimes we wake up in that pain. Like, why am I here? Why am I going through these things? You know, why am I waking up and feeling this dread? Because God's not finished with you. He has a purpose for the pain that you're going through. It's to make you stronger. It's just to make you be a better person. When we get things wiped out of our lives and then when we know it's not there we take it for granted we we doubt the silver lining until we actually let faith step in and know it's going to be a better tomorrow so i'm not trying to be emotional with y'all you know i feel like i'm good in my spirit and it just makes me really happy when i know i can impact somebody's life and let them look at things in a positive perspective 
So I hope you are able to resonate with this video. You know, this is going to be a hell of a hot weekend. This is my birthday weekend. I'll be 41 on Saturday. So that is a blessing just to see another year. Even though I went through hell for the last couple of years. But I said, you know what, this year I'm going to make it a better year for my birthday. So, you know, keep me in your prayers. And I will definitely keep you in mind. You know, spread as much love and light as positive vibes as possible you know you see somebody's frequency low or if you have somebody close to you near and dear and you feel like they're they need some cheering up go ahead and do that you know it makes you happy to see other people happy and i will talk to you later like and subscribe even hit the notification bell and i'll see you on my next video peace and be wild